map of possible nuclear fallout radiation levels in Japan was leaked on the web this week. A survey of the area is currently underway. In other words, the Japanese government is not reporting the obvious fact the area is contaminated with deadly radiation, and it does not want the Japanese people or anyone to know the full story. A coordinated cover-up of the severity of the situation is underway. This sort of behavior is typical of governments, especially when they are interested in protecting their power base and protecting the interests of transnational corporations. Only stoic Japanese citizens are outraged over the lack of information forthcoming from the government. In the United States, countless numbers have flocked to stores in pursuit of iodine tablets said to help prevent thyroid cancer. Americans are obviously not buying the line promulgated by federal and state government that radiation does not pose a threat. Katrina and other incidents have instructed the people in the uselessness of government and its desire to protect them. Increasingly, people understand they have to be proactive to protect themselves and not really rely on a gaggle of self-serving bureaucrats. In Russia's Far East, residents on one day stocked up on iodine and checked radiation levels. Russia's emergency ministry took it the same line as other governments in the world. There is no risk to human health and no danger from radiation is expected. Potassium iodine tablets have been given to some U.S. military flight crews near Japan, and the no-go zone for soldiers and sailors is larger than that declared by the Japanese government. For the U.S. military has developed a radiation protection drug known as X-RAD, but it is not currently available for minors, and yet the Pentagon, or anybody else for that matter, is not testing radiation levels in and around Japan, or if they are, they're not releasing the data to the public. As a recent WikiLeaks uh, revelation revealed, the government received warnings over the stability of its power plants from an international watchdog more than two years ago, but they were disregarded. In December of 2008, the IAEA said that safety rules were outdated and strong was a serious problem for nuclear power facilities. Once again, government secrecy is the rule of the day from the health and welfare of citizens right low on the government will invariably protect at all costs the interests of multinational corporations including building faulty nuclear power plants located on or near earthquake fault lines over the safety of the people this has been really rick and your tinfoil hat news